Shout out to Matt Moore and the Birch Owl for being our super fans. This is part of our membership where you can support us if you really want to. It is in the description and in the comments below. What's up guys, Matt from Scubbusters and today we're on Hello Neighbor 2. And thank you for tuning in. So let's get on with this right now. So obviously this game is all about puzzles and I think it's just puzzles, so let's get straight into it. So first things first, we can press R1 and you can pull that down on your analog. So this will need the crowbar to get into there. Now we're going to move over, so we can pull another lever again, let's see if we do this. No, so this does not work. Okay, so here is a crowbar, we can take this, and like I said, let's go back and then let's go and sort this one out. Oh, that was very quick. So this is ducking, R3, obviously I'm on PlayStation, and it'll be right trigger on the Xbox as well, if Xbox has got this game right. So we're going up the ladder. So we're going to have a nice look around. Okay, we can't really see anything over here, so let's move on. So it's like we're going to jump up here. I need this a cog. So we've got the cog. You can press triangle and you can pull it away. Uh, normally, we do have the options to select other tools that we've collected. Obviously I've collected a, a tool bag. Sorry, not a tool bag. Uh, I've got it called a crowbar. Right, so now I have this. I have no idea where to put this. So that's also there. Oh, right. Oh, right. So it all needs to be... Oh, right. So as you can see, my crowbar is back. Right, so let's throw that out so to throw, I press R3, right trigger. So you press R1 to pick it up. And you press R3 to throw it if you want to. It kind of throws it, but there you go. So let's pick up our next cog. Oh, sorry. And now we're going to place this one on the green one. So we're just missing the blue one. So the blue one is going to be in here. So obviously we need to pick up the key. I'll put it in there. And there we go. That's this one done and dusted. So there we go, so that works. So obviously I've already pulled down the lever, the lever is going to automatically work. Uh, I'm just having a look around, I can't see anything else. Uh, before we move on, if you want to change your sensitivity, all you have to do is go to controls, go to camera, sensitivity, and obviously left and right so you could turn it down so if you don't change right it's gonna be very slow turning look as you can see and obviously if you want to uh, there you go and it's gonna go whee oh, 
thought it was going to be a lot faster than that. But anyway. Hi guys! <laughs> Hello! You can't see me! Alright, we're in the creepy guy's house. And he's watching people, so that is fantastic. Somehow I've still got my... Are we in this house or not? Hmm. We're in our house. So I'm guessing we're in our house right here, right now. So... So that's a crowbar. Don't know what this is. Oh, it's a flying camera. It's like a drone. Can we use this? Oh. Oh, that's a bit weird. Oh, get down from there. There we go. Right, put him away. Okay, that glitched out. Can I just put that? Now, if you use this, you press R1 and you can fly the camera. Whee! There's some nice birds up there. Okay. Okay, sorry for that little cut. I have just altered my sounds. Uh, it's all the game. It doesn't sound overpowering and you can hear my voice. So, this was also your little television that you can pick up right here, as long as a drone, and if you press R1, you can look into it and fly your little drone. Okay, and if you come off it, press R1. But I think I need to... Right, so it's R3, so the one where you look around, you press that in and it comes down. The one where you walk with... Press up. I don't know. Oh, I'm going to pull that light. All right, okay. So, we don't need anything from here, so let's move on. So, what is the main objective? Do you have any, uh, Things that I need to do here. So for that, I think we need to go and get the camera. Uh, is it this that tells us what we need to do? So obviously we're watching the geezer. So let's go. Run! We're running. Uh, what house are we going to? I don't even know what house we're going to. Okay, it's that blue house. Okay. Is it that one over there? Yeah, that's it over there. Right, so we're going to go down. Which way are you going? We're going this way? Yep. Yeah. We're going to run down the hill because why not? Oh, the policeman. Avoid the policeman. Can we go around the back? That is locked. Oh, we're sneaking here. We're in. We're in. Oh, we can open the fridge. Does anyone want any food? Oh, I'm sorry, it's no food. Unlock her. Uh, right, so that's a clock. Obviously, we need to use that to move around when that's a house of that. Right. Hmm. 
So we need to find the keys for each of these, okay? Okay, so we can't go in there. Does he have a key on him? I don't know if it's around. No, I don't know why he has a key on him. So, we'll have a good look around. I think I want that. Rink off. Whoa. Okay. I keep, I keep pressing buttons. I'm assuming these blocks have something to do with it. We've got one, six, and eight. Or is it nine? It could be both. Typical. So we can't go upstairs. Right, we're going for one, two, four. Why is that just the time? I hate this, why did I pick that up? Okay, so I've had a bit of a look around and I've found something that might be useful to our puzzle. So you have a dollhouse here, okay? But it has like an input thing on top, okay? So you've got to put three dolls on top, okay? So I think i found one doll. So, if you look to the right of the finger, there is uh, the wooden plank across here. All you have to do is get it and here is the one doll. So as you can see this is a doll. But if you come over to the fridge we've got to place her on the far left one okay. There we go. So that's puzzle number one okay. Okay we're going for the next doll so what we're going to do is turn around the doll is going to be above us the doll is up there so what we need to do is think on our head so we need to get up here and press that so let's climb up off this press this let's go get the little fella 
or the, the, I should say the nasty man. We've got the nasty man. Let's let's say we've got the nasty man. So he needs to be on the right, okay? Oh, the policeman's entered. The policeman's entered. Oh, he scared me. Oh, he just scared me. Woo! Jumped. <laughs> right, he's in the... Uh, he's in the kitchen. Oh, where do we need to go? So, we're going to get the third doll. Okay, so what we need to do, we need to switch on the TV. So, you need to see how it says N O T NOT. That is the code, three letter code for this next step, okay? Let's make sure we don't get caught. No idea where he is. So, what we need to do, you need to move this painting, so interact with this painting. No idea where he is. So, let's do this. And there we go, so it's N-O-T. So coming in here, we've got another toolkit and we've got the little doll. Okay. Oh, is it? Oh, it's behind me. You scared me. <laughs> oh, it's funny. Where is it? It's red! Right, oh, come on, jump over. Right, so we're going to put the doll on the next bit, okay? So there we go. So we have a lot to key there, but we're going to move on. Because we're going to close the door. And then our next job is going to be uh, the cubes, okay? So let's get straight into it. Okay, so we are missing one number. I don't know exactly where it is. It's the first place I looked in the whole game. The angry man is... Uh, the angry, oh, the police point is right there. However... What we're going to do is going to sneak right past him, go in the fridge, look behind the plate, and look into number four. So we're going to activate the alarm to get his attention. Oh. Right, so we've got his attention. So what we need to do, we need to drop these in the correct position. So we know what we're doing. So, as you can see, red one is number one. The blue one looks like uh, it's a nine. It's going for a nine. So, the green one is number eight. And uh, the yellow one is number four. So, it's 1984. So, let's input that number right here, right now. 1980. Ah. Oh. 19. Oh, and there we go. So we got the key. Okay. So we got two keys. Okay. So we need to find the policeman. Where is the policeman? Right. So let's input one of these keys. Right. We've input one key. We're done. We're ready. Jumped. All right, so the second key, we all know where it is. It's at the doll's house, okay? Oh, he's right here. Oh, 
right, it's going to the next door. Right, we're going to get the key from here. Right, it's not in there. Right, so let's go get the other padlock. Right, so that's padlock done. However, we can't get in here yet. So now we need to move on. Oh, where's he gone? I don't know where he's gone. Where's he gone? Where's... Right, so I'll show you where we got this key from. Okay, not the key, sorry. This is where I wanted to show you how to get these scissors. Okay guys, so I've had a little look around, so I think the next task is to move on the house. Yes, we have to move on, so we have to go up into that particular tree house up there, so let's go and do that. Okay, so we're just going to run past it. So you may think, oh it's a set of stairs here, we'll go up. So you cannot go up, you cannot do that. Uh, because the, oh, 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 oh! Where's that just gone? I don't want to look at it. There we go. So we cannot go up there because the stairs are up. However, we can use the trampoline. We, yes, we do not advise this to, uh, to do this in real life because one, you cannot jump this high, and two, you shouldn't be on the roof. So we jumped on the roof. Going to use the ladder to get over and use the branch. Okay. So we'll go up. There we go, in here, and look what we got, we've got a little, he's missing an arm, okay, he's missing a shield, okay. So we've got to do some tasks for this, and there we go, so, oh, take that back down so we don't have to keep taking uh, the trampoline, so it's missing uh, a shield on his arm, okay? Oh yeah, his arm moves, oh, okay. Ah, so you got to make it look like the thing in the pol pol in the picture. Right, so his shield is down like that. Oh, look! This was a... Uh, interact. Oh, look! It's magical. So we go, we're going to put that back on, we're going to sway that around, it's quite nice isn't it? And there we go! So this is how to get the scissors. Here it comes. So it's going to push out the scissors. So this is what we need to get the next doll, okay? Uh, we can go down the stair ladders now. Take the safer option, because that's what we do. We take the safer option. And then we just come all the way down here, and there we go, we're free! And we're gonna run. Run! You will never see us. Jump the fence. There we go. Right, so we're back with the scissors. Uh, we're still getting chased off the angry policeman. What I'm going to do, I'm going to set the alarm off. I'm going to run round. So the alarm's gone off. That's going to... Oh, he saw me. So we're going to run upstairs now. He's chased me down. Coming up, it's coming up, it's coming up. Okay, we're going to get our first key. So 
So he snuck off. So first things first. Oh. Don't throw your keys. Uh, keys. Don't throw your scissors. Right, so the next job is going to get... We're going to build a picture. And what we need to do... See, this opens up for that. So we need to find something to put on that. So our next piece is over there. So let me just drop this stuff. Uh, which one? Okay. Here's our next piece. I don't think he's seen us. I don't think he's seen us to be fair. Are we free? Right, so here is where we're going to build the puzzle, okay? So it's bang, bang. Okay. Our next puzzle, oh, sorry, our next piece of the picture is right here. Oh, don't throw, don't throw your scissors. There we go. And now, like I said, we need to hold something. So if you look, uh, hold something on the plate. So as you can see up here. Oh, no. Run! <laughs> you cannot see me. You can't see me. You can't see me. Right, move. But we got to be careful. Right, be quiet. Right, so get rid of this. Let's get this weight. Has he gone in there? Alright, let's go back in here. Right, so I need to drop this. So you see how that holds it? Whoa! I went flying there. Right, so this is the last piece of the puzzle picture puzzle so let's go there we go we got a key that was a bit awkward our next one going to be another little puzzle we need this little handle we're going to pull it on here we're going to pull that back uh, we're going to turn around and we're going to clean these cobwebs snip 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 there we go so now we're going to take this battery and we're going to try and get it down to the other side of the room. Shh! We're moving. Close the door behind us. This is going to be very noisy. We've got to be quick. So we've got our next key. There we go, right, we've got two keys downstairs. So Oh, right, we need to run. Why do you let me out? Oh, it's like panic.
where is that? Oh, I'm sneaking back past him. It's not going to know. It's not going to know. We're down here. This is like Mission Impossible. Right, so we're going in the basement now. Is that that cake? No, that's this one, and that's that one. We're in. We're in. Let's close the door behind us so he doesn't follow. Right, we're in. Right, what do we need to do down here then? Oh. Case okay, closed. Have we done it? I don't know. So I've got a key. Do we need to do anything else? Neon. Neon. Oh. Help him. Oh. Oh. What's going on here? So it's gone night time, okay? Um, I'm assuming we have to go this way. Which way are we going this way? I don't know where we're going. Leaving us here? I think so. Oh, spooky house up here. Okay, so we have reached the museum. I uh, don't know what to do. Which locked? Hmm. So there's a lot. Oh, the spade. Oh, it's got floating scissors. <laughs> and there we go. That's a uh, level one done and dusted.